Hi everyone. In this video, I will demonstrate how to characterize the behavior of CMOS, NAND and NOR gates using LT SPICE tool. So let's get started designing the NAND and NOR gates. Go to the file, new schematic. Now earlier, I have placed the CMOS P and CMOS N. So click on this component palette, component and search for the CMOS P and N. So place this, I want two PMOS and two NMOS, two PMOS to be in parallel and two NMOS to be placed in series to form a NAND gate. Once these are placed, make the required connections as per the structure of the NAND gate. Use this wire button to make the required connections. Next, both the sources are connected and the substrate or the body is always connected to the source. And these two are connected. Finally, you need to place the ground. Place the ground. Make the required connection. of this point to this and connect all this substrate or the bulk or body to the ground so that they stay at low potential. I want a VDD and two input sources. So for that I will go again to the component palette, select the voltage. Place one voltage source for VDD. Let me place this side for VDD and two voltage sources for the inputs. Select the ground. Make the connections by using the wire. Connect this ground and this input is given to this and this one to this. Connect the input of the second to this one, the first transistor and below transistor is connected with the first PMOS because this is a purely CMOS logic purely a CMOS logic so make the required connections here also now before that I need to set the technology so for that just click on this already have included the model files click on include i'm using the 130 nanometer ibm file so use this file which i have placed in the subfolder click ok next i want to perform the transient analysis of this right click and click on edit simulation command so select the transient tab run it for 100 nano click ok next set the inputs so before that i'll try to place the ports 
I label them. Click on the label. I'll take it as VA as input for this and one more VB as the second input. And this one as the output. Select the port type to be output, and you can call it as y underscore NAND. So make the required connections. Just drag this above. Okay, so A and B are the inputs. Connect this. So it is connected. Now define the pulse sources. Just click on it. Click on advanced and set the pulse source. So initial value is 0 and maximum value is 1.2. I want to have a delay of 0 and with the rise time of 500 pico that's ok for this and fall time also 500 pico 10 nano of on time and 20 nano for the period similarly so you can move this if you want or you can set it here itself Next, similarly edit this, advanced, select the pulse, 0, 1.2 and a 0 delay, 500 pico and on time is I am selecting it for 20 to 40 nano. So you can move this if you want. This is for the second source. Before that, before that, you set the width and length, minimum length and width of this to perform the simulation. For PMOS, I'm setting the length to be 130 nanometer, and uh, default size is I'm setting the default width size to be all 130 nanometer for PMOS width and length. For the same for the second. The length 130 and width is also 130. For this transistor also the same. So once these are specified, I missed the connection here just for the output and specify the DC voltage. So the DC voltage is 1.2. Now you can move this if you want aside. And this one. Once all these things are done, you can click on run. Now you can plot this. Select the. So this is the VA, VB, and VNAND. So these are the outputs of the NAND. You can verify the logics by extending these plots. I want three plots that is VA, VB and VNAND. So for one one the output is zero and in the same manner you can verify with the, all of the logics. Next I'll try to create one more logic that is NOR gate. This time I am going to simulate it with the 180 nanometer technology file. So the same process, just I will try to copy all of this or I will create the own component, select the CMOS 
n and p so place the two pmos in series and two nmos in parallel so select the cmos n which is in parallel to the pmos at this point make all the required connections here you need to take the output and the, these are grounded so these are grounded place the ground make the connection to this ground and you want the supply potentials at the top that is the VDD so for that go to the component again place the voltage sources for inputs this is for the VDD and two for the inputs Now you can just move this to this side. This is acting as the input. The second one is the second input. Now make the connections, place the grounds to this, to this. Make the required connections as per the logic of the NOR gate. So the first transistor next you can use this or the parallel second one so use this transistor as the second input and make the gate connection at this point once the connections are made you can connect the source point all these fourth terminal or the bulk is has to be connected to the ground so you make the required connection now the design is completed before that just make the connection for these grounds as well now specify the voltage for this using 1.8 this time i will simulate it with the 180 nanometer technology file. Set it to 1.8 and you can place the or label the name to be VA. Set the input. This is the VA and one more label to be VB. Set it to input and you require one more label for output i'll write it as y underscore nor nor git set that to output port and you can place here at this point now make the connections to this Now try to define the pulse sources for this to verify the logic pulse which is a 0 and 1.8 this time and it's delay of 0 again rise time of 500 I'll take it as 500 pico same I will copy it with the 10 nano on and 20 nano for the period so similarly you can define here also the pulse with the 0 1.2 and 0 delay and 500 picoseconds for these two and uh, 20 nano with the 40 nano duration so the pulses have been defined 
and inputs are defined now just place the or include the model file include include tsmc 180.lib so this will include the library file and since you have to perform the transient analysis just right click and edit simulation command set it to 100 nano click on ok now everything has been placed everything has been assigned now just save the design and click on run so this was the previous logic by using the 130 this time i am plotting for v in v a and sorry i gave the 1.2 so just we'll try to change this so you can change it to 1.8 volts now try to save the design run it so this is the output of the nor gate if you want to see it add plot plane ea vp and uh, it is following just the the problem was in this case i did not define the 180 nanometer just now i have edited it and i have placed this this time we will save the design and i will try to run it so this is the output of the nor gate in this manner you can verify the any digital logics and you can verify the any digital logics and its power by using if you have 130 or 180 nanometer technology file you can verify any digital logic circuits by using the lt spice tool hope this video will help you in designing the some complex logics to come thank you